Hey guys, I just picked up this uh, 79 Honda XR80. Um, got it from a customer. He traded me for some powder coating work that I did. Um, I don't know who got the better deal here. But uh, he said it had been sitting for a while, so I thought that's a great chance to show you guys how an ultrasonic tank works. So um, first things first, I'll get this carb ripped off. Well, I got the uh, I got the carb off. Now I'll just uh, open up the float bowl here and see what we got. Oh yeah, yeah, that'll do it. Look at how filthy that is. Okay, here we go. We're gonna put this uh, carburetor and all the little pieces into the ultrasonic tank and flip her on. Now, I always like to put the float bowl in upside down so that all the crap falls to the bottom of the tank. And we got a little, a little stainless steel strainer with all the small parts right in there. And we'll just flip it on, set the temperature, time. Not terribly exciting, but you can see all these little bubbles. And that's what's going to be doing the scrubbing. And getting into all the little crevices. So guys, here's after about 30 minutes in the ultrasonic uh, tank. Looks like the jets came out really, really clean. Um, I blew through them with some compressed air and everything looks, uh, looks like it came, came loose. Uh, the carb body here looks good, uh, nice and clean. Uh, the float bowl, unfortunately, it's got some corrosion in the in the bottom there, and that doesn't uh, the ultrasonic can't really do too much with that, um, as far as you know, rusting, oxidization, stuff like that. Um, but all the old, you know, all the old fuel, uh, anything that's gummed up, all the old residue, all that's uh, definitely taken care of. Well, back 